Hello again, it's been a while since I posted a video up on YouTube, but today I have I have a thrift haul. I have paid a visit to the Goodwill and I got a few really groovy things to show you. First up on the list is a dress. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll see about including some video of me wearing it. It's this sleeveless black velvet maxi dress. It's nice and long, so you'll get to see me wearing that. I also got this sort of kind of sheer, I don't know what you call this, some kind of a, I don't know, it's some sort of a shirt. You put it on like a jacket, but it has no buttons or anything. And my mom suggested that I actually pair this with the dress, and that's a really good idea. Oh, and ignore the sound of my sister's fish tank, and you might hear the cat too. The other thing I got was I got this black sweater, originally from Forever 21. Black sweater with a big white cross on it. Is that going to focus? Yeah. And I saw this and I was immediately drawn to it. And I was kind of debating on not getting it because I am not a Christian. I am, in fact, a Satanist. But, I mean, come on. A black sweater with a big-ass cross on it, that's, that's pretty goth. And I kind of figured, I decided to get it because I figured I might kick myself in the ass if I didn't get it. And there's just something kind of deliciously ironic about you know, somebody who's not only an atheist, but a Satanist, wearing <laughs> wearing something like this. And this, I'm thinking maybe pairing this with, like, jeans. I think that would look really good for something a little more casual when it's kind of chilly, but, you know, still very, very goth. So, so, yeah, anyone who says that it's expensive to be goth is full of it, okay? Um, most, like, pretty much all of the goth clothes that I have is, like, stuff from, I already had, or stuff from thrift shops. The only, like, more goth-specific items I have is, you know, I have shoes from Demonia, and I picked up a bag from Killstar that they had, you know, on clearance, half off. But I don't own any clothes from Killstar, or Punk Rave, or Dolls Kill, or any of these other folks because I just can't afford it. And you can find a lot of really awesome stuff at the thrift shop, and I really would love to see more goth YouTubers doing, you know, more thrifty stuff, more DIY. This is why I really like Angela Benedict's channel, is because she does a lot of more, like, affordable looks. Like, you know, you don't see her doing a lot of, ooh, I just got this stuff from Killstar. No, it's stuff that she bought at the thrift shop, or stuff that she bought really cheap online, so... So, yeah. So, really, I don't know what, what more there is to say, but... These, these items are very cool. Oh! Duh. I forgot to mention, with that dress... The dress, um, it is a little bit tight on me, so... You know, just... Keep that in mind, um, and I am in the process of, I do need that. I do need to lose more weight, so, um, so yeah, once I lose the weight, it'll look better on me, so, so yeah, I guess that'll do it for these videos, and I will go ahead and roll in the clips of me wearing the items. Enjoy! My apologies for the fish tank noises. But yeah, this is the sleeveless velvet dress. You can see how it is a little bit, you know, tight on me, but once I lose some weight, it'll be great. And the length is really nice, and I mean, this is just such a nice dress. And I think, I think this dress was like $9.99. And then I've got this little sort of, I don't know what you call this, jackety shirt thing. And this one, you know, it's short in the back and then it gets longer as it goes towards the front. And so that's just something nice to wear with this dress, you know, since it is sleeveless. If it's maybe just a little bit chilly, 
And I could also wear this over a tank top, you know, whatever it's. I really like it. And I think this one was like, it was like, you know, $7.99. Okay, on to the next outfit. Okay, and here we have the next item, the sweater. Now the sweater, you know, it fits, but you know, you can still see my belly. And so, of course, as I lose weight, this sweater will just become looser and looser, so it'll make for a nice baggy sweater. And since this is a holy sweater, I'm thinking of maybe, you know, distressing it, poking some holes in it. I think that could look pretty cool. Oh, and incidentally, the jeans that I'm wearing, these are also used. I don't remember if I got them from a thrift shop or if I got them from, you know, Vinted or whatever, but, but yeah, these are used, so, you know, this is just a simple, you know, goth outfit for when it's kind of chilly. And I do really kind of love the irony of somebody who's not only an atheist but a Satanist wearing just a gigantic cross on their chest. It's wonderful. But yeah, it's awesome.